maybe get you a spot where you might want to go? Yeah, uh, initially um, saw the saw the trade uh, of Allen Robinson or the signing of Allen Robinson um, coming to the Rams, and uh, about 20 minutes after got got the call from Sean McVay. Um, been in the league a while, I, I kind of know how it goes. Um, seeing the, seeing the contract and the time, and uh, got the call from McVay, told me that I was getting traded. Um, and first first thing my thought is, all right, we got it. Where, where am I going? Where are the teams? Where are the options? Told me they was gonna let me have a, a say and an impact in my in my trade, and um, really just got on the phone, talk, started to talk with my agent, um, did my research on teams, got to got to move fast, uh, quarterback staff, um, being able to talk with with, with past players um, who've been here, who've played here, and uh, really just get my my intake and my feel, and uh, being able to make a, my decision um, off of that. The guys that you talked to, and, and what was it about this place that made you want to come here? Uh, Josh Reynolds uh, was one of them. Um, Antoine Woods, uh, one of them. Um, and really, just having a relationship already with, with Todd Downing and uh, Rob Moore, being with them in Buffalo. Uh, Derek Henry, obviously. Tannehill, AJ Brown, um, obviously a, a top performing team, uh, coach of the year. Being able to join this this team and this organization, I think, was beneficial for my career. Knowing how the league works and how you how you want to win games, you want to be able to be a balanced team. And I think this organization, this team, being able to feed off of the ground game, um, having a quarterback who delivered the ball, having another threat on the opposite side, and uh, obviously being able to bring my game and, and compliments to this team, I think, uh, was was the best fit for for my game. No, you're good. Such a team guy. You're, I mean talk about the teammates that you're leaving and what they said about you. How much did culture play into your decision making and just the culture that they have here uh, with the Titans? Yeah, uh, big. Um, you you want to be in an organization who's um, obviously kind of like solidified, solid, uh, not, not much movement around. Um, this team has been in the playoffs, uh, been consistent for, for many years. Um, so I wanted to join something that was 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 firm and, and solid and re be able to add my um, game to it. And uh, obviously, you want to be a part of a winning culture. You want to be a part with guys who 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 try hard and, and bust their butt for their teammates. Um, talk to Roger Saffold as well, and uh, really just was just trying to get my my intake on on the on the locker room and guys. And uh, they they told me this was the right organization, um, even. Getting the feel on Bayard and uh, as Simmons up front. Rob, what's, what's, what's the state of your in terms of the timetable for your return? And with suffering that injury last year, how much does it kind of drive you to get back? Because even though you got a Super Bowl ring, you didn't get to play in the playoffs in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a already a, a lot of motivation, um, <laughs> despite the knee. Uh, just just being here, being traded, winning the Super Bowl, not being able to play, um, and then joining an organization um, that's that's right there. Um, could have been there last year. Uh, my goal is to win it back to back, um, and really just for my knee. My knee was had a, had a clean tear. Fortunately, um, nothing else involved with it, and uh, really just trying to get back as fast as I can uh, and and healthy, obviously. But. Um, no, no timetable. Just, just right on track. Being, getting strong, getting my strength, and when the team is ready for me to be out there, I'll be ready to go. First significant injury of your career. What, what was, what was it like when you knew you were going to be out an extended period of time there? Yeah, it, it shocked me. Uh, obviously, I, I was uh, running with the ball, tried to make a cut, um, fell down, uh, went to the other field, ran, cut, jogged, and, and thought I was fine. And then uh, we were like, when I got the news that it was a, a tour ACL, it was, it was shocking. Didn't know uh, that it was that. And obviously, as a receiver, you know, you get that injury, you're like, oh, no, oh, no. You know, it's, it's coming to an end. And then uh, literally just being able to recover and, and feel good, knowing that it wasn't that serious um, is, is, is thrilling for me just to be able to come back. I uh, feel like I'm in the middle of my career. Um, so really just my thing is just getting back as strong as I can, pick back up where I left off and, and ask some more uh, 
strength and, and strength and power to this to this knee. Robert, Robert you you're feel? known as you're over the course of your career. You're known as one of the better run blocking receivers um, in, in the game. Maybe where does kind of that pride in, in that element of the game come from, and why is that kind of a, a big part of what you do? Yeah. Uh, we, we always talk about uh, playing, playing without the ball, um, being able to learn that in the league and being involved. It's kind of like, I don't know, when you see a basketball player, it's kind of like the guy without the ball. It's like you still have to be involved, move around. You can't just be standing there. It's kind of like the same thing in football. You can't be watching the play. Um, and I feel like just, just being involved in the game, staying, staying in tune, being able to get your running back free on, on the big runs, um, and really just being physical, setting the tone when you – come out there and be physical, you got guys who who turn it down on the opposite side of the ball and, and don't want to be a part of that. And when you when you set the tone and you set the force, you're the one in control and you're in control of the game. Yeah, with that in mind, Robert, I mean, how, how much do you feel like you're a good fit for this team with the how they play and kind of your mentality to begin with? Great. I mean, you obviously want to be a physical team. They are that. Uh, you have a physical running back. You have a physical receiver, um, two of them now. And being able to to just set the tone throughout the game. It's, it's a long season being able to be in many and be in many seasons. I know it's uh, you got to be durable. You got to be physical. You got to impose your will on teams and with, with Coach Vrabes and how they play. Um, it's definitely the mindset that I have. And um, we're going to do that 60 minutes, all four quarters, um, every single game. I had some high praise for you before the Titans played the Rams this year. I wonder if you ever got a chance to notice that and if that kind of Stuck in the back of your mind at all, you know, when you were looking around? Uh, I did not. I uh, did not know that. Uh, obviously, I just go go into the game um, worried about my, my assignment, what we're, what we're trying to do. And um, really, I, I always, whenever I'm on the field, I, I try to be the best receiver on the field um, on both teams. Uh, being able to showcase that in that Tennessee game, uh, make some plays. Um, probably left a lasting impression on, on Coach and probably why I'm here. Some of the things that Coach McVay did, you know, jet sweeps, lining you up in the backfield and all those types, how did that develop? Like, was that something that, you know, when they acquired you, they, they wanted to start doing? And, and how much would you like to do that here with the Titans? Yeah, uh, literally uh, from the start of leaving the Bills, McVay was like, I, I got what I wanted. I, um, I'm about to get the ball in your hands. I seen what you were capable of doing in Buffalo, and now we're – going to get the ball to you. Um, and really, it was just one of those being able to have an impact in the passing game and not just the running game, being able to be a downfield threat, be an intermediate threat. And one of those situations came where it was he wanted the ball in my hands, being able to be involved in a screen game. And then it was being able to take those the distance and just wanted to have me, have me with the ball in my hands. So the jet sweeps came about. And really, it was just, here, Robert, do what you do. Um, Guys, uh, clear lanes and create lanes for you, and uh, that's really what I'm, I'm trying to do in this offense. Um, get the ball in my hands, slash, slash running, make guys miss, be physical, um, and be of impact with the run game um, with the ball in my hands, screen game, downfield threat, um, and key third down receiver. Since the season ended, about needing to be great around Ryan Tannehill. In your experience, what does it take for a receiving core for an offense to be great around a quarterback, and how can you contribute to that here? Yeah, a consistent receiver, um, being able to get open uh, in, in a timely fashion uh, with the routes, um, with the protection. Um, Got to be reliable every single down. You can't make up stuff in between routes. Uh, and like I said, be, being reliable in the, in the, in the catch, catching the ball as well, you got to be able to be consistent on first down, second down, third down. Uh, quarterback with Tannehill and with this offense, we're obviously going to feed off of the run, um, be involved in the play action game. And uh, that's what I do. I, I get open. I think that's what I'm going to do in, in this offense, be able to create separation, uh, make it an easy throw for him. And when he does throw it, make those contested catches. 50-50 um, balls, it's, it's me or nobody. Uh, be me, you know? In terms of uh, your reputation in Los Angeles as a leader and as a guy who is a good locker room fit and part of a good culture, you know, from what the teammates and coaches have said, how do you transplant that here to this culture and, and inside this locker room? I'm just coming here. Um, I'm not trying to be anything that, I, that I, I wasn't before. I'm coming here being myself and Robert Woods, uh, be a great teammate, great receiver. I'm a hard worker. Um, not just on the field. On Sundays, I take pride in my, my, my work at practice, every single rep. 
uh, in the weight room every single prep as well. Um, showing up to the meeting rooms, um, holding guys accountable, making sure that they know their assignment. Um, because, I mean, it takes all 11. I, I've learned that it's, it can't be 10 guys out there on the same page. It takes all 11. You have to know how your teammates think mentally um, and be able to trust them. I think that's the biggest thing. And uh, I'm just coming here and trying to bring my energy, set the tone, uh, how I practice, um, and hopefully the guys can feed off of that. Uh, I embrace the young guys, the older guys, special team players, quarterback, backups. You got to be able to communicate with everybody. Um, it, it takes a, a family and we're all a part of building this um, championship team. And uh, really just coming in here and hard work. And I think my, my work is, talks for itself, guys see that. Um, and I don't let guys, I mean, take, take reps off. You got to finish, uh, finish with the ball. Um, and that's what we're going we're gonna to preach. How do you feel like you compliment AJ Brown in, in particular, and, and how much have you seen him? Yeah, I've seen him a lot really since he's gotten in the league, uh, since the whole combine stuff, uh, being a dynamic receiver, um, being able to make it to the Pro Bowl, uh, strong, I would say, being able to make guys miss. Guys definitely don't want to tackle him. Uh, finishes through the end zone, strong runner. Um, attack the ball, aggressive hands. Um, so I think my game with his being able to hit on both sides, I think it would be really dynamic. His game complements mine. I think once we get the ball in our hands, I think we're really going to be dangerous um, just because how we run and attack the defenders, eat up the ground. I think we're going to be re really, really good together. When you did your research, did you say to the Rams, I like these three or four teams, or did you say, hey, get me to Tennessee if at all possible? I, I had a few teams I, I, I liked, obviously. Uh, don't want to just put all the eggs in one basket. Got to see how it's going to play out, um, how your how the coaches are going to use you. Um, obviously, you could, you could like an organization, but if they're not going to want you, if they're not going to use you how you want to be used, um, it really has to be a, a, a great mesh and a great fit. And um, obviously, I had the, the coaching um, culture that I was already familiar with. Um, guys who've been here told me about the atmosphere in Nashville, want to be a part of that. And um, be where you want it. You know, you got an organization who wants you and, and you fit well. Your game matches up well with their offense. Um, why not? It's clear your quarterbacks in the past have trusted him. You look at golf, 100 targets consistently. Uh, Stafford, half of his throws to you are third downs. How do you? go about developing that same type of chemistry with Ryan Tannehill, especially being as though you may not be on the field as much leading up to you know, camp, et cetera? Yeah, it's one of those things, like I said, it's, it's, it's building relationships. Uh, mentally, I think we're going to connect well in meetings. I'm going to be picking his brain, asking him about concepts. Uh, what does he want from a quarterback perspective? How I see it from a receiver perspective? And really trying to get on the same page. Um, obviously, I won't be, be playing uh, OTAs and, and stuff like that. but. Picking his brain, standing next to him, having a script, um, knowing knowing how he thinks. So once I'm, once I'm out there, being able to just now I'm physically doing it, um, and he already knows mentally how I'm thinking. Um, and then on on top of that, just creating separation, being an open target every every single down. I take pride in if it's a clear out route, I'm gonna be open. If it's a backside route, I'm gonna be open. Front side, primary. Um, my job as a receiver is to be open and catch the ball, and, I, and I'll do that. What have been the things um, that have stood out to you about Tannehill's game from watching him from afar? Yeah, um, starting in Buffalo, I, I've seen him in Miami. I've seen what he's done, um, passing the ball, uh, always knowing that he is, is capable of making the throws, um, being, able to fourth, being able to be a 4,000-yard passer, um, being able to spread the ball around to, to many different receivers. Uh, checked him out early, what he was doing uh, with AJ and uh, I want to say a year with, with Corey um, when he was here. And um, really just him being able to feed off of the play action in the ground game and uh, being able to do that same thing here. Uh, be an open target, let him work off the ground game and then being able to deliver the ball, whether it's downfield, feeding off the play action. I know he's an athletic quarterback and make some plays um, on the run. And um, I'm going to do my job, let him do his. Kid to win out, out there uh, against the Rams, yeah. and, uh, and this was a defensive football team in a lot of ways last year. What's it like to join an, another team that has uh, 
so much quality on the defensive side of the ball, particularly the front four. Yeah, uh, balance. You see those those guys getting after the, uh, uh, the quarterback, got after Tannehill, being able to, I want to say, if I remember correctly, force, force two key interceptions down there in our red zone. Um, being able to get after it. I know Byard had a, had a great read uh, on, on the out route, being able to jump it and finish in the end zone. Uh, it's not just making these plays, but like capitalizing on a batted ball, getting the interception. Uh, if it's a, a late pass, being able to jump the route, um, things like that. I think this defense is, is playing well, capitalizing on, on finishing plays. Obviously, the offense has been there, having a leading rusher, um, a great line up front. and. Um, like I said, this is a, they should have been a lot further in the, in the playoffs last year, um, and really just added my game and let's let's get over that hump and let's let's go and win this thing. A, a ton of thirty and over wide receivers making big impacts in the NFL these days. What makes you confident that that you can kind of be, you know, ex, an exception uh, to that rule, especially coming off the, the injury as well? Being young, I would say. I know you said uh, there's not many. 30-year-old receivers are, are, are doing it. But uh, I would say I was able to, to have a different game and, and Buffalo being able to be involved in the run game. Uh, so really just being able to kick this passing game off. And once I got to LA, I, I feel youthful, um, physically, feel healthy, not having any many uh, injuries in the NFL. Uh, how I train, uh, I, I train hard. I come, I come in ready, come in shape. Uh, take pride in my work. I don't just rely on physical attributes. You know, I, I work my feet, I work my hands, I work on separation, shiftiness. I um, feel like every everything, whether it's my, my, my mindset, uh, my skill set, my, my hard work, I think I think all that plays a key factor in, in feeling young, being young. Uh, like I said, this is, I'm at my midpoint in my career, uh, really just trying to keep this thing going. I feel like I'm just going to start it. I feel like I'm in my prime, my best shape of my life. Um, really just keep keep this thing winning. Can you go on that? Once you're healthy, how important to be out there every day practicing, getting to know Ryan, getting to sync with the whole offense? Yeah, uh, it's, it's all about practice. It's all about timing. You got to be out there on the practice field. You got to be out there getting the reps, uh, mental reps, physical reps. Um, Throughout, throughout practice, you're not only out there running routes. When the defense is on the field, you're right next to your, your quarterback, taking the mental reps, telling them, this is how I would do. Did you see that play? I would have did this. I would have did that. Um, if we're not in, if the twos are going, the ones, whatever it is, like we are always taking reps. And I think um, creating that relationship with Tannehill, I know, is very important. Um, building that bond, being an open target. Uh, he, he has to be able to trust me, and I have to be able to, to trust him and, and give that trust to him. Um, and that's with catching the ball, attacking. If he's throwing it, uh, the defender's right there. I have to go out there and make the catch or make sure that defender is not getting that ball. And that gives him trust to keep throwing the ball to me. Um, obviously, if you're making plays, he's going to keep slinging it. And um, start, start day one, we already been talking. and. I met with him before at a Christian um, NFL Christian conference before. I met him and his wife. Um, so really just to build off that relationship and um, keep it going. You said that there's no timetable, um, but that you looked pretty sprightly walking in here. Appreciate Do it. Do you fully expect to be on the field <laughs> week one? Uh, I'm told not to talk timetables. Um, obviously, my, 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 goal is <laughs> my goal is to be out there. My goal is to work hard and do everything possible. Um, to be physically ready. Um, I, I personally have goals to, to be out there and be strong and be be out there. My, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I missed the end of the season last year. Um, so I'm, I'm doing everything capable with the training staff and the coaching staff to be out there. I couldn't find the answer on this online, so I'll ask you, do you remember who's the first person to call you Bobby Trees and, and how did that nickname stick? Yeah, it, it started out in Buffalo. I don't know who was the first one. Uh, seen, it, seen it on Twitter a couple of times uh, when I was in Buffalo early on. And then uh, really once I got to L.A., it, it blew up. Uh, the fans loved it, ran with it. The Rams ran with it. And uh, really just that, that alter ego, Cooper Cup, and, and my uh, receiver coach there, Yarbs, used to call me Bobby Trees and the most complete because you get out there on the field, uh, as soon as that national anthem is, is finished, Bobby Trees come out, it turns to a whole different person. The, the smile comes off. And uh, really just, uh, just become that aggressor, setting the tone. Um, 
being physical, being stout, making guys uh, want to intimidated to tackle me and just to come up and press. All these things, uh, it's just it's just a tone setter. It's a mindset. Told you not to talk timetable. Is it what we think it is? <laughs> I am told not to say that as well. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Robert. Welcome.